right, so we can see that this question is worth five marks, so it's going to be quite a lot of work. Uh, let's give it a read through and see what we need to do. Abdul wants to paint this wall, and it's a obviously weird shape. Abdul will cover the wall with paint three times. So don't forget that, we've got to paint it three times. He has one tin of paint that will cover eight meters squared. Does he have enough paint to cover the wall three times? Show why you think this. Now, if we know his tin of paint covers eight meters squared, we're going to need to work out the area of the wall, and then we're going to times that by three because he's got to paint it three times. That's how much paint he's going to need to use. But how are we going to find the area of this wall? Well, when we're dealing with shapes like this that are made up of two more more normal shapes, um, we can just cut it into, into pieces. And then on the left, we've got a rectangle, and we can find the area of a rectangle. That's easy peasy. Uh, and then on the right, we've got the area of a triangle. Um, but that's going to be trickier because we don't actually have, we're not told straight out how tall this triangle is or how wide it is. But let's start with the stuff we can do. It's always worth trying to pick up like some marks, even if you're not sure how to finish the entire question. So let's start by finding the area of this rectangle bit. Uh, the width of the rectangle is 0.9 meters, so we're going to do base times uh, the height, which is 2.2. So base times height, that's the area of the rectangle. It is 1.98, and the units would be meters squared, because we did meters times meters. Now the triangle's harder, because we don't know how tall or wide the triangle is, but we can work it out. If this whole wall here is 2.2 meters and this bit's 0.6, then the height of our triangle is the rest of the 2.2. So again, if this bit's 0.6, then this has to be what's missing from 2.2 if you take off 0.6. So on the calculator, I'm just going to do 2.2 minus 0.6, and that is the height of our triangle. And I'll copy that to the working box. So that's 1.6. And I'm, I'm doing this on the diagram. You, you would be absolutely welcome to do a little picture on a piece of paper so that you can put these labels in as well. Otherwise, it is really easy to lose track of what you've worked out. Or like, why did I do this calculation? Uh, next, we'll do the same with the width of the triangle. We know the entire width across here is 1.7, and this bit of it is 0.9. So the width of the triangle has got to be how much bigger 1.7 is than 0.9. So again, back to the calculator, we will take our 1.7, subtract the 0.9 to find the difference between them, and this answer, 0.8, must be the width of the triangle, like that. So now we've got that on there, we can find the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2, so we are going to do uh, base times height, and we'll get our answer and we will divide that by 2. So 0.64 is the area of the triangle. Let me put that in as well. So this is 0.64 meters squared. So the area, that he, the area that he needs to paint when he paints this wall is going to be the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. This number is the area of the entire wall. So total area is 2.62 meters squared. But don't forget, he did say, it said in the question a couple times, because it doesn't want you to miss it, that he's gonna paint the wall three times. So that's how much it would cost, that's, that's how much it will take to paint it once. That's the area of the wall when he painted it once. But he paints the wall three times. So he's gonna to need to cover that wall three times. We multiply by three. This uh, times three equals that is how much paint he's going to need, because it's the area of the wall which is going to paint once, twice, three times, so that is how much paint he's going to need to cover the wall three times. Uh, finally, the question is actually asking, um, it's not asking for the area specifically, although we absolutely need that, it's saying does Abdul have enough paint to cover the wall three times? The answer is yes, oh, go away, the answer is yes, he needs uh, to paint seven point eight six meters squared, he can paint eight meters squared. So you, as, as I've said lots of times, you don't need the extra information, I'm just putting it in so it's easier to, for us to talk about and so um, the question makes sense. Uh, you've got all the working out in your box, as long as you say yes, you're fine, but also remember that all the things I wrote in pencil, like drew on the, on the screen, all of that stuff is the equivalent of you having it on paper. 
and that doesn't get marked. So you've got to put everything you did in the working out box if you're going to get marks. All right, cool. Um, that's it. Hope that helps.